as a finishing unit for your floor finishing uh, lab made in the community is the touch screen that control the spinning speed of our units. I mean, you can control by the screen. Uh, you see here all the function of the machine. The touch screen of the new version 2021 uh, of our whipping uh, and buffing machine is completely controlled by that touch screen. You have the drone of the foreheads and the belt, so you can start all in once or you can control, for example, the belt, elevating or downsizing the speed of advance. Or you can come back to the home, thanks to the button home, and control one by one all the spinning and the speed of rotation of the four heads. So one by one you can control that way. Or to fit the width of the boards on the machine and make it center on the belt of traction, you can use these very useful guides that you can adjust as you prefer and fix very very easily the buffing machine has a support with magnets that connect directly the support to the machine on the other side we have the open loop uh, um, support that can easily connect the scotch bright pads we have different uh, breeds of scotch bright the softer one the medium the hard and the super hard of course, uh, you can have also other kind of, like for example, special parts in wool, and you can connect this easily to the support, and so you remove it easily as well. The buffing unit has two hats in that specific machine, and uh, it is necessary to buff the hoist and arboxes after the roller coaster application or the mini tunnel hoist and arboxes application. What uh, it uh, means that these two hats help the oil and hot wax to penetrate inside the grain of the wood. And more you have the destructed wood, I mean, and scraped or hard wire brushed, more you need a soft pad of Scotch Bright that can push the product inside the grain of the wood. It's very easy to remove the buffer because they have a magnet that allows to change easily the buff head and then you can oh, fit in few seconds the head inside the machine to control the pressure of the buffer you have this system later i will show you how to control the spinning speed if you want to set all the hats or the belt one by one you can simply enter in inside uh, the screen of each uh, part but if you want to run all together you simply have to push to push the button run and the machine will start as you can see you have the buffer rotating and the belt running if you want to adjust more or less pressure, you just work on this control and you can check one by one all the heads of the machine. Simple, smart and easy. Two whipping uh, heads have the opportunity to put on different kind of brushes for example, this one has 24 peel holes, so it's more intensive. This is for the first head, and you uh, will have the effect to take off the extra oil or art boxes in excess. The second one is the finishing brush, so you see it's uh, less full of peel, and you can also have it with less. It depends by the viscosity of the oils or the hard waxes, according to the viscosity and the thickness of uh, uh, the, the finishing product, you can use more or less high-density uh, hair brushes. 
Finally, we talk about the last part of the machine, the whipping uh, units that allows to spread perfectly the oils and waxes inside the grain of the wood and give a perfect finish, very even over all the wood surface. So, what happens is that you have, first of all, to adjust the pressure of the brush and you can also give a different angulation to the impact of the brush against the wood. When you fix all the parameters to have a perfect finish, you just have to control, thanks to the panel, the speed. So, you can see here, the brush actually is running quite fast. If I want to decrease the speed, I can do step by step with the button or I can make simply inserting the speed and this is moving very very slower and that's all.